and others. had a somewhat checkered history in terms Yeah, I will try. The viola. I am WMA TA 6000 series. Do you think I can try to play the viola? In terms of symphonic repertoire. I could? The early symphonies used the viola often to double the bass line. What was that? Uh, what was that, sir? Or to fill in the harmony in the center of the chords. Okay. Often coupling the second violins. Okay, I can try. With the complemental figures. I could try to use this bow. In other words, we rarely ever get the tune. So, a viola part will often sound like this. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Orchestral writing developed. Yeah. Composers were a little more daring with what they were willing to try with the viola section. Yeah. For example, in the Symphonie Fantastique, in the yes. slow movement, the violas are given a tune. Yeah. In addition to more interesting parts for the viola section, composers started to write far more solos for yeah. one viola player. Okay, I will try. Yes, I can. Here I go. Uh, eh, 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 eh. As we head into more contemporary orchestral music, you will see that composers place no restriction on the viola at all yeah. and do not typecast the viola. Yeah, so, for example, yeah. in Salonen's Violin Concerto, there's a solo for viola and cello. Yeah, I can try. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> So as you can see, the viola, Yay! like all string instruments, is very versatile, yeah, like but we sit right in the middle of the orchestra with the heart of the string section. Yes, I did it! If you've enjoyed learning about the instruments in the orchestra, why not try our iPad app, The Orchestra, featuring Esa Pekka Salonen and the Philharmonia Orchestra. Fully yeah, interactive video playback lets you view the orchestra from all angles and the revolutionary beat map shows you who is playing when. Follow along with synchronized scores, commentaries, and get a 360 degree view of all the instruments. Available for download in the App Store on iTunes. <laughs>